Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Chuggy Wars. I think we'll try to play Central Falrook today because it's been a while since I've consistently played it. And I think last time I played it and got decent results. So um, playing what works seems like a decent idea. Good luck. That said, <laughs> I'm almost immediately not a fan of this. Um, yuck. Okay, so I can castle here. Just like they can. And I do get to play this. Ah, Primitive Central Rook is what that avatar indicates. <sighs> okay. I'm going to play this castle against my better judgment. Yep. <laughs> okay. The game begins. Yeah. So, they keep threatening... Oh, what the heck? Really? What's this? What's this now? Fine. Okay. This pawn is advancing. But, um, it's going to be a weird game. Thanks. Yeah, this is game one, so I hope so too. It's kind of hard to tell at the moment, because I decided to play Anaguma. And 50 to 100 moves up. Uh, well, I was about to complain about like how much I was about to regret all of this. But this knight move um hmm this knight move <sighs> Man, I never know what to do against this. should push this anyway. Right, they do advance that as they should. But uh, I'm actually showing some discipline for once here and not playing some completely retarded variation just because it looks cool. There we go. See, I can build a castle. I can demonstrate like one move of patience. Um, the silver is strangely positioned. Okay, really? If we start exchanging over here, well, okay, I don't need to press the issue. I don't need to, but I can. Um, What a flippin' mess. If I... If I... Okay, whatever. I have given up on trying to understand this game at this point. And we're just gonna shove the pawn. And what happens, happens. Um... Free pawn? My opponent's rated 2 Don, right? Did I see that? I thought I saw that. Um, 
Like, what are we doing here? Nanafun. What are we doing? So we have Anaguma versus left Anaguma. Um, maybe they were counting on some like silver drop, silver promotes, hits my bishop sort of tactic here. Um, that makes even less sense. Okay, I mean, there's a silver fork. So I'll dodge the fork. And the critical variation seems to be lance takes, and then I take a knight, and then they take a lance, and then I don't know what I do. Maybe push this. They promote. I bring my rook up. I think I'm doing okay. Oh, plus if I take the knight, I can drop the knight here and win a gold. And that is magnificent. So... Um... Right. That may... That blocks their bishop. That's not a good move. I'll attack the rook. Okay. Is this real? Um, well, we'll take this first and then figure out the rest later. Um, that's... There's decisions going on this game. There's a lot of decisions. Um, hmm. Gofun. Unorthodox rook drop. <laughs> Super unorthodox move. But I don't want this promoting. Mm
I'm so perplexed. <laughs> hey, the translation bot is doing the best it can. Okay, my opponent sees what I'm up to. This is how they make two done. As you pay at least the slightest bit of attention to your opponent's threats. Problem is, they can't parry this. <laughs> there is no way to parry this threat. I think. So it would suck to be on the defending side of this position if there's no defense. Boy, that would suck. Maybe they have pawn drop here or something. I don't know. It's a little trick that we actually are taking from a YouTube comment, believe it or not. They pointed out that, hey, this lance in Anaguma Castle is a bit difficult to defend. So you could just like march in on this diagonal between all the other pieces. Um... Which I thought was pretty wild, but it seems to be true. Um, well, that's a cool move. But what do they do about this? Right. I saw that too late, but I saw it. Um, Nifun. Yeah, somehow I don't think I have mate here. It would be cool to have checkmate, but I don't seem to have it. And having to drop this is just tragic. Um...
1分ねえ、I don't believe in this either. Yes, it makes loud booming noises, but、uh, I just don't see it. That was dense. That was dense. I lose. Probably. This is no good. The fuck is that? This is sad. I have mate at this point, I just don't have time to execute it. Actually, I don't have mate. Bishop drop, Rook takes. Um, yeah, the spectator sees the best of the game. Let's keep going. This is why you don't play things like that. You might get an exciting game, but you'll never understand it. Good luck. On the other hand, my opponent was rated or ranked 2 Don. So. Throwing the dice like that is not a terrible option. Like, worst case, what? I'm just gonna lose? But I'm gonna lose anyway, so.、Uh, might as well. Oh, are, this, are we doing this again? Okay, so here's another way to play against this. Bring an attack on the square as quickly as possible. Opponent is already Fugire. 
And I don't know. There's got to be something. I'll defend my bishop's head if they give me a turn to do it. They give me a turn, so I defend it. Okay, I'll defend this square too. They shouldn't have pushed this. This is ridiculous. Um, Alright, so we'll just promote this pawn, since my opponent is Fugire. It's fine. This is... what are they doing? I'm actually concerned. <laughs> um... So... Okay, that's kind of what I was waiting for, actually. I have a pawn in hand, and they do not, so I can do this. And then I can promote this right on top of their rook. And then we win a super easy game. That's the plan. Alright, so now I try to win the rook. Okay. This was not expected. Um. I guess we'll offer the bishop a little bit differently than it's currently being offered. And then promote my rook. And as I promote it, I'll have a fork, and I'll get to take another piece. So the opponent did win a knight, but I'm about to have two dragons and a silver, and maybe a lance. Or something like that. But they did get to build something that kind of, sort of, maybe looks like Anaguma. So we'll see how that holds up. They want to activate this bishop. Reasonably so. I want a silver. They don't want to give me the silver. Okay. Hmm, this enters the calculation heavy phase of the game. I'm going to promote my other rook this way. So spend a turn preventing this bishop from promoting. Okay. Sense that I've missed something here. There's the thing I missed. A fork. Wonderful. Um. Nanafun. Fine. I dodge your fork. What was plan B? If the fork didn't work out, you had a plan B, right? Mm -hmm. See, that cuts the fork. Of course, they'll take here and it's back again, but... Um... So, I'm going to hold this point. Mm -hmm. 
truthfully, I'm not so afraid of the fork here. Somehow I was thinking this would resolve differently. And now I'm looking at it and not thinking what I was thinking a second ago. But I think it's fine still. Oh no, he got my rook that wasn't doing anything. Whatever will I do? So we have a bishop instead. Unfortunately, they're not Fugure, so my pawn drop threat is not as menacing as it was earlier. If I had two rooks and I promoted them both on this top rank, well, they'd drop a pawn somewhere up here and I'd cry, but, you know, an ideal world, that'd be made. But in this world, there's mates just not there. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we totally beat the Tudon. That's definitely what happened. We didn't witness a Tudon opponent randomly throwing away pieces to delay checkmate. Yeah. No, nope, we definitely won that game. Yeah, well, I think, though, like, I burned all the time on my clock. So, of course, I'm going to find good moves. Um, that's just how I play this site. Um, it just means that I'm not going to rank up. But... What should also go with that is I should not play Anaguma myself, or we're really in for it. So here I've got two generals attacking, two defending. This is something that I have some chance of winning within the time control. Whereas if I play Anaguma, um, yeah, I just, there's never going to be enough time to deliver the blow. Um, okay, what in the world? So, I'm sure there's threats here. I'll just play what looks obvious. So we'll cut the line between the rook and the king, while also supporting this pawn drop. But I don't know that I want to drop the pawn because uh, the gold drops back. Even though it does reduce the scope of this bishop, the bishop's pretty well cut off already. They might retreat this horse to hit my gold. This might be difficult. Maybe if they try to win my gold, then I drop the pawn. I don't know. Like, their whole defense is based on this bishop guarding the square, and then holding this knight in hand forever. And then, as soon as I drop the rook back here, they're going to drop the knight here and say, Oh, you didn't see that coming. That's the plan. I walked into this nasty fork. That's exciting. I don't even have my own counter fork to go with it. That's pretty na Oh, the gold's defended, though. This could be a lot worse. Alright. So... We'll play this and regret it later. I could have moved the... No, if I move that, they just take my lance. Hmm. I forgot. They have a pawn. And they can drop it right here. So, after they take my gold, if I take back, they drop a pawn. And I'm in not a very good spot. Um, I'm 
5分。Should I resign? This is really bad. All right, we'll bring the dragon out here. It's not going to help anything, but um, maybe it'll improve morale to do it. All right, they can take that too. Um, I'll pretend that that was planned. And they say a horse in defense is worth three generals. Uh, I could promote this and bring it back at the expense of two Tempe. Um, I have no attack. I mean, yeah, I could drop a knight, exchange here, try to do something here, but, like, this is abysmal. The best thing in my position is that I'm up one minute on the clock. Uh... Let's throw the dice here. I need a pawn to defend with. The dice aspect is what if they do silver drop instead of just taking this? But they didn't. So I actually start to have a defense here. I still have no offense. Oh, crap. I kind of missed that. Uh, this could be bad. We'll just pretend we saw that and pretend this tactic works out somehow. I know they say don't run from a fork, but what if you do a fork when you're running from a fork? Sampun.
I'm surprised this happened. This is so ridiculous. This is not my opponent's finest game. Like, surely they must have had many excellent wins on their path up the ranks. Um, I don't know why they're playing like this this game. Have become the dirty flagger. Wow. It's like I've got a reputation. Where did this reputation come from? We think I was like not a dirty flagger in the first place. Interesting. Hang on, I could play this here to make things interesting. We've heard me lament on many occasions how I cannot checkmate. Um, it's hard to be more than a dirty flagger for a player who cannot checkmate. Sanjubyo. Thanks for the game. I mean, even morally speaking, I had no right to win that, so we can be satisfied without out with that outcome. Good luck. I mean... So... Like, I encounter an opponent who plays Anaguma Castle, right? And so if I've not prepared for that, then I can just resign. And we can play the next game. Or I could hope that they make some big blunder and somehow, like... Hey, what's this? I haven't even castled over here, and already they fully committed to Tomahawk. Like, why? 
What in the world? At least let me build my castle before you try to break it down. Granted, I've not played this particularly accurately. This is probably hanging at some point in this sequence. Um... I think my opponent got a bit excited. They are up 40 seconds, or 30 seconds. Um, but I think they got a bit excited. So meanwhile, I'm weaving back and forth, taking the pieces. All right, if I take this, is there a fork? No. So we'll take this. Okay, that's another free piece. They're trying to promote. Um, hmm. Interesting. That actually has a point. All right, so here's the point where I stop and think before making a game-ending blunder. Uh, we'll still make the game-ending blunder somehow, but we ought to stop and think first to make it look really cool when we mess up. Um... I think I should take this. Nanafun. My opponent's moves are not easy to predict. Or they are, and I'm just, like, not understanding. Hmm. I thought this would be fine somehow.
5分Oh, you know that bit about not being able to check. Oh my god, really? I thought they had an even more convincing win. Um, uh, okay, we're just gonna run and pretend that this was planned. I take, they check. They have a silver in hand. If I run, it's mate in one, so we have to take this. I don't have a mate here. Not that I'd expect to have one, but I don't have mate here.2分30秒。I apologize to everybody Nifu. watching this for having seen it. Um.
1分30秒1分。30秒。10秒 Literally do not understand this position. 時間切れ。All right, so we started off、um, not on the greatest opening, and then played against some decent opposition after that.、Um, I'm not sure what to conclude from that, other than Shogi is hard. Uh, there are things I could do to improve at this game, and I just haven't done them. So,、uh, yeah, we'll keep that in mind and try to do better next time. Have a good day.